Hey guys, it's Connor here. Welcome back to another edition of the Weekly Wax Chat. I hope you guys have all had a great start to your weekend so far. Happy Saturday. So it is time to once again go over all of what I have been using in home fragrance for the last week. So we'll be discussing candles that I was burning. We'll talk about the wax melts that I've had going. We'll discuss what I have going at the moment, burning, and then we'll also discuss currently what I am crocking and warming around the house. So we basically just discuss all of the home fragrance things from the week. Um, I've got a pretty good video for today. I have a lot of empties. I honestly like did not think I was gonna have this many empties for this video, but for some reason I was able to finish like four candles yesterday that I didn't think I would be finishing by the end of this week but I'm very honestly proud and happy of myself because um, it's definitely always really good to finish things up especially as we're coming till the end of the month of April which is crazy in and of itself but since we are coming to the end of the month it is definitely really good that I am not only like burning through my candles but actually finishing them and getting them into the empties pile so that I can move on to newer things so very proud about what I emptied and I will share some final thoughts on those. I do also have a few other candles that I was just burning but didn't really finish and then of course I have my wax melts as well. So uh, yeah, lots of good stuff to talk about this week. Um, check out the description box down below. I will leave links for all of the websites here for these candles. Most of them are from my four main companies um, which are Kringle, Homeworks, Bath and Body Works, and then Yankee Candle. So I'll leave all of those websites down below. I'll also leave the Scentsy website because I do have it Scentsy for my wax melts, obviously. Um, and then I'll also leave if I have any discount codes. I am an affiliate with both Kringle and Homework, so I do have two different codes for you guys to use. Those are going to be helpful in saving just a little bit of money on your purchases. And they are affiliate, like I said, so I do make a small commission back from them. But they really just go back to my channel and to buying more things to review for you guys, like the new Reserve Candles. So uh, you'll see some reviews of those next week. But um, yeah, anyways, check out the description box. Lots of good stuff down there. Also, if you're maybe newer and you need a little candle education on Crocs, Lamps, and Hurricanes, which are all three things that I use throughout my home fragrance routine in the week. If you're newer or maybe you just don't really know about um, either three of those concepts, I will leave links for three videos down below in the description. They're at the very bottom, so just scroll down and um, those videos are going to be really helpful in kind of teaching you about those concepts. And then within each of those videos, I kind of talk about where you can find them, why they're helpful, etc etc so definitely check out those videos as well but um yeah that's it for the intro hope you guys have all had a great week so far um and i hope you guys are ready for the weekend i definitely am um it's gonna be nice weather this weekend so i'm excited but i'll be working a lot of this weekend to be honest so anyways um yeah let's get into all of the stuff here in front of me. Before we actually do that though, let's talk about what I am currently burning and have on my crock. So uh, starting with the crock, I still have the bottom half of my Bath & Body Works Sweet Orange and Agave. Um, I had that one in my crock last weekend when we last chatted about my weekly wax shot. Um, and I, I did have a few performance issues with that one. It just started to get a little bit dirty on me and I can kind of tell when a candle is going downhill, especially from Bath and Body Works. And I could definitely tell that that one was about to go downhill major. So I just decided to finish it off in the crock and um, it's doing quite well down there. I honestly can still smell it a week later, which is really good because it's obviously giving me 24 hour fragrance. I do leave on my crocks all day and I say Crocs, but Croc, I only have one, but I do leave them on 24 hours. I don't turn them off until I actually take the candle out. So it's basically just running 24 hour continuous fragrance, which is really good. And that is just really helpful for either, you know, finishing up a candle or maybe um, enjoying a candle that's having performance issues and I'm not able to continue burning it. So that's kind of why Crocs are really helpful. But um, yeah, that one is doing quite well. I really enjoy that scent too. Um, it is a dupe for uh, Capri Blue Volcano. Bath & Body Works has come out with that type of scent multiple times before. They've had their um, Indigo Paradise. They've had their, um, 
what is the one that I'm thinking of? The Sunwash Citrus. They've had that. They're like all the same, like citrusy, orange, grapefruit, lemon type scent. So if you enjoy that, I think you would definitely like that sweet orange and agave. I personally love that fragrance profile. There are a lot of versions of it. Could a lot of a lot of the companies that I shop with have their own version, but I really enjoyed that one. I just wish burned a little bit better so anyways that's still going in the crock i probably will change that out um i might actually change that out a little bit later on today because i do have a new bath and body works candle here that of course is giving me some issues which we'll talk about in a minute so i may throw that one into my crock but we'll see um but that's what's currently crocking um let's talk about what is currently burning right now. I have three candles burning right now. Um, they're all three from Homeworks and I pulled all three of these out to review for you guys because they have all launched now. I think, I honestly don't know the dates. I should have written them down before this video, but yeah, all three of these candles are like new candles from Homeworks. Um, the strawberry kiwi lemonade is not new and neither is the cherry lime slushy, but the, um, what was the, What's that other one? The Rainbow Pops one. That one is going to be in the Nostalgic Treats collection. That one is new for the lineup, but the other two are not. So I'm um, currently burning in the kitchen. It's Strawberry Kiwi Lemonade from Homeworks. Um, I did get that one sent in PR. So just to be 100% honest about that, that one was sent in PR by Homeworks. Um, that one did launch in the Summer Sips collection, which actually launched yesterday on Thursday. I'm filming this a little bit earlier. So two days earlier from when the video goes out but that is currently available now um it was available on qvc and a different label obviously in a duo so if you wanted to get that then that one's definitely um there but then um it's now available on slot and co in a new label and obviously you can just get it in the one um i really am enjoying that candle it smells great it's kind of like a strawberry lemonade type scent but then you add that kiwi component in there which kind of gives it like a green fruity smell but it's really nice i'm really enjoying that one um i think i'm gonna kind of compare it to the strawberry lemonade from country candle when i review it because i feel like they're definitely very comparable i'm very close to finishing this obviously by the way um they're very similar. I think that this definitely has a little bit more of that lemon where the strawberry kiwi lemonade might be a little bit sweeter because it has the kiwi, but very similar scents. So if you liked this one, I think you'll definitely like that strawberry kiwi lemonade. But that's currently going in the kitchen. I just lit it up for the first time. So I will be burning that a little bit more and then my review should be up by midweek next week probably. So stay tuned for that. Um, currently in the um, entryway area is the Homeworks um, Cherry Lime Slushy. I really like that one too. That one actually launched last year from the Nostalgic Treats collection. And honestly, that launched last year. I didn't shop any of the candles. They just weren't really appealing to me, I guess. Um, I remember last year, I really liked the Carnival collection but I wasn't really as big in the nostalgic treats. So I actually never tried that one, but Homeworks did send it in PR, um, which obviously is really great. Actually, all three candles were sent in PR, by the way, that I'm burning right now. But um, yeah, I'm really liking that one, surprisingly. It's a really nice, um, like cherry limeade scent. You definitely do get cherry in there, which if you guys know my channel, I don't love cherry always. So that one was kind of a risky one for me to burn, but I'm really liking it. And it definitely smells like cherry limeade. The lime note in there is really nice and it's just very summery. So I'm actually really enjoying that. I hope it smells good when I'm burning. I also just lit it up for the first time. So far I'm liking it. I liked it on cold, but we'll kind of see how it does when it's burning, but that one's doing good. And then um, the grape, um, it's not grape, it's the frozen rainbow pops. That's what's currently burning in the living room. And that one I'm actually not that big of a fan of. I have already started burning it and I can already tell that it's like got a good throw. Like I was really smelling it this morning when I was in the um, family room drinking my coffee. I could really smell that one. And even on cold, I didn't love that fragrance. I am just not a fan of grape scents. I think that they just come off as very artificial and candied and I just don't enjoy that fragrance in home fragrance. I've never come across 
a, come across a grape candle that I've actually enjoyed. Um, I just, I don't know, I don't like them. So I'm not loving that candle. I will definitely burn it to, to review it, but it's not something that I think I'm gonna be repurchasing. But it does seem to have a good strength and throw so far. So of course that's great. But anyways, you will see three reviews next week of all three of those candles. And then you'll also see my Kringle Reserve reviews, which are the two new ones, the orange and the psychedelic citrus. So if you're interested in reviews on those, those will be up next week as well. So that is what I'm currently burning. Let me get a sip of water. And then now let's get into all of the other stuff that I was burning. Let's start with my empties for the week. Cause like I said, I do have five candle empties for the week, which is awesome. A few of these I did finish off earlier in the week and then a couple I just finished last night actually. Okay, let's start with this Homeworks one. This is Sparkling Grapefruit from Homeworks. I did finish this one completely all the way, as you can see, very burned to the bottom. Um, I really like this one. This was a nice grapefruit scent. I am really a big fan of grapefruit type scents. Um, the notes on this one are grapefruit, fresh lemon, thyme sprigs, and vanilla sugar. And it's definitely got grapefruit at the base to it. I've also noticed in a lot of Harry's grapefruit scents, he loves to put lemon, and I definitely think that there is lemon mixed in with that grapefruit. I honestly think that those two notes are very like interchangeable. So whenever I'm smelling grapefruit, it's probably also some lemon in there as well. Um, this one has a thyme note, but I honestly don't smell any thyme or just like any herbalness at all whatsoever. Um, I think that that would go well with this candle, but I just personally don't pick it up. I mostly just get the grapefruit, but I really enjoyed the scent on this one. It was very nice. Um, performance was good for the burn. I did want a little bit more strength and throw out of this one. I thought it was kind of light. Um, it really only gave me about like a five, which is just not enough in my opinion for a four wick, especially because this one retails full priced $42, which is crazy. Obviously it's got a nice glass jar. This is actually the same glass that they use for the lug candles. And it's got a really nice lid as well. Um, but I just feel like this is not worth $42 to have a minimal strength and throw like that. Um, I really like the scent, but it just would need strength and throw more for me to buy it. Um, luckily I did not pay 42. I only paid about $20 for this because I did find it at my local discount store home goods. So that was really good, but I would not repurchase that for $42, just knowing how light it is on strength and throw. But I did really enjoy that scent and I would like to see it back out in the lineup if he could just improve the intensity a little bit more. So I finished that up. Um, I did also finish two other Homeworks candles, um, starting off with Valencia Orange. I did try and finish this one off this month. Um, I got a lot of requests to try this one, and I finally did it when Homeworks had their anniversary sale, or so, sorry, not the anniversary sale, it was the uh, National Fragrance Week sale. Um, I did finish this off. Um, I really liked this scent. It was really nice. I kind of went into it expecting to get like a fresh, citrusy, authentic orange. But this one honestly came off across to me as more of like a orange creamsicle because while it does have that really nice orange note in there, it has a lot of vanilla in it as well, which I really like. It just kind of wasn't what I was expecting, but it's really nice. I would definitely repurchase this. I thought it burned very well. Um, all of these Homeworks candles do have the like skinnier wicks, which I don't like because they do want to kind of fall over and drift. But um, this one had a solid strength and throw and I did enjoy the scent, so I would actually repurchase that. And then the third one is Honeysuckle Mimosa, which is brand new for the spring. It's in the Garden Party collection. And I love both Honeysuckle and Mimosa fragrances. So it's like, I feel like I couldn't go wrong with this. And this was really nice. I really like this. It's definitely a mixture of floral with a little bit of like a fruity scent. Um, it's just kind of like a slight like orange note in the background, but it's mostly floral to my nose. And then I also said in the review, it's not listed in here, but I kind of get like a slight cotton note in here. It's very like fresh, almost in like laundry fresh type of way. But 
It really blends well with that honeysuckle. I do also think I get a hint of like that honey blossom, but yeah, this was really pretty. I really enjoyed this one. I would repurchase it. It had a great strength of throw. This one actually was probably the strongest out of these three. And the burn was pretty good other than those thinner wicks, but did pretty well. I did enjoy that, so I would repurchase. Okay, those are the Hallmarks empties. I do have a couple Kringle empties as well from the three wicks right here. So let's discuss these. Starting off with pink grapefruit, another grapefruit candle. I've loved grapefruit lately. It's just, I've really been enjoying it in a lot of candles. Um, I did finish this one completely all the way. Can I get the lid off? There we go. As you can tell, completely finished. Now, I do kind of want to talk about something that I've noticed with these three wicks from Kringle. And you can kind of see it on this one, not quite as good as you can on the pink grapefruit. But these are really drifting, like the wicks are really drifting once I get to the bottom part, which can be very dangerous if you don't, um, you know, pay attention. Obviously, if the candle glue is just kind of like on, it's just like not sticking and then the candle wick just starts to drift. And if it gets really close to that side of the jar, obviously you can tell there's a little scorch mark right there. But if it gets too close to that side, it can just get too hot for the glass and it could shatter and cause a fire hazard. And obviously that's a big issue. So you wouldn't want that to happen. But yeah, I just think, just be careful with these. I don't really experience this with my other Kringle candles. I've not really experienced it, but I have gotten it from the three wicks so just be very careful about that um i don't think it's like likely for anything to happen but you never want to play with fire literally so um be careful with that but other than that i really liked this pink grapefruit this was just like a nice basic citrusy grapefruit scent um it did have a pretty good strength and throw i would have liked it to be a little bit more but it was nice burn great the three wicks from Kringle burn flawlessly. They do not get sooty on me. They don't get puny wicks. They don't get um, discolored wax. They don't get a smoky smell. Basically, they perform the polar opposite to the Bath & Body Works three wicks. So if you're looking for a really good burning three wick, check out these Kringle 100% soy three wicks. They do so well for me. And then the other one that I finished was Lemon Meringue Pie, which I did really like the scent, but honestly, it was just a repackage of the Easter Chicks Marshmallow scent from last Easter. Um, I did really like that scent, so I didn't mind having this back in my collection. It's just kind of like a marshmallow scent with a slight lemon note. It's really not a lot of lemon, though. It's mostly marshmallow. Um, but it was nice. I did really like this one. It's a good gourmand. Um, performance was okay. I wanted it to be a little bit stronger. The burn was great. No issues there, but I just feel like these three wicks could use a little bit more in terms of strength and throw. I feel like there's not a ton of consistency with the strength and throw in terms of Kringle three wicks. I found that some are really strong. For example, my strawberry patch was very strong, but then I've had some like these two, which are kind of more on the lighter end. So I don't think that there's a ton of consistency. I wish that there was, and I have faith that Kringle can do that. I would just like to see it from them. So those are all of the empties from the week. Very proud of myself for finishing all that stuff up. And then let's go ahead and get into the other candles that I was burning. Um, starting off with Kringle Country Candles Strawberry Lemonade. This is basically finished at this point. I'll probably get one more burn out of this, but yeah, basically done. I loved this one. I really enjoyed this candle. It was really good. It definitely is a very lemonade type scent with like a strawberry note to it as well. So good. I really like this. I would repurchase it. Burn great for me. I had no issues, which was really good. Um, if you guys had seen my previous Kringle Country Candle reviews for the new spring scents, I did run into some issues with those ones, specifically the Lemon Tea and Roses, as well as the Cake Pops. They both got puny wicks for me. They both had um, like that like burnt smell in the wax and it just wasn't good. So I was kind of nervous about this one, but it ended up doing good. I didn't have any issues with this one at all. Very clean burn, as you can tell, like extremely clean. Um, obviously this one is in the medium jar. So I kind of wonder if that has something to do with the burn. I don't know, but I like this scent a lot. I was actually burning this on our um, 
back porch outside last night and I really liked this one. Um, I don't always burn bad candles outside, by the way. I feel like whenever I talk about burning candles outside, it's because I don't like the scent enough to burn it inside. But sometimes when I'm sitting out there and just reading or doing whatever, I like to burn just a good candle out there and I can really smell them. They do good and it's a way to kind of get through my collection. So this was really nice, but I'll probably get one more burn out of this before I finish it and it should be in the April empties. So continuing to burn that. Um, let's talk about this Bath and Body Works candle here. Bath and Body Works and the stars. I started burning this a couple of days ago and I've gotten um, a good amount of burn time out of it and it was doing really good up until last night. I lit it up, walked away for a couple hours. Um, I just wasn't really paying attention to the candle. I was obviously in the house, but I just wasn't looking at it. And then I came back and it just looked dirty in the wax. There was soot across. The wicks had gotten puny and it just was a hot mess basically. You can kind of see it here. It just started burning it very badly and um, I was very upset because I love the scent and the stars. This is a really good one. I really love this one in the body care. I've always liked this a lot in the body care but I've never tried it in the candle. I believe I picked this one up on this past candle day I think it was but yeah I really like this scent it's really good it smells a lot similar to the Ariana Grande cloud perfume if you want a dupe of that candle or that perfume in a candle format I think that this one is really good I do believe it's an online exclusive only so you can't get it in stores unless it's like a special event like SAS or whatever but I really like this one. I wish it performed better. I do think I may throw this one in the crock because it just obviously is not doing great. So I may just finish it off uh, through the crock and obviously that will help it to burn a little bit better. So yeah, you may see that one in the crock, but uh, we'll, we'll find out soon. <laughs> And then the last two candles are my two limited edition country candles that I've been burning. Still working on these. I didn't get a ton of burn out of these uh, this week as much as I was hoping, but I'm gonna really focus this upcoming week to burn these a little bit more because I do wanna finish them off by the end of April. Um, iced tea, love this one. I've kind of talked it to death, but it's just a really nice tea scent with like a peach and lemon note in the background. Really, really yummy. I love this one. And then the pink citrus is kind of like a citrusy grapefruit scent. Um, yeah, very nice. I enjoy a lot of these scents. Um, these are both really good. They're burning good too. I haven't had any issues. Very clean burns as you can tell. Um, I am trimming those wicks because you can see there is some carbon residue for sure. So I am just trimming those after each burn, but they're doing good, solid strength in the row. So yeah, that is all the candles from the week. Let's finish it off with wax melts here. I've got a couple wax melts. Starting off with Yankee, what I currently have going in my wax warmers are Sicilian Lemon. I really like this one. I've never really liked this in past years, but I've kind of come around a lot more to it this um, spring. It's a really nice, like cleaner lemon scent. You have to like the cleaner lemon scents. This is not like your lemon gourmand or your lemon pop or your lemon cake. It's nothing like that, because that's normally what I gravitate towards. This is much more cleaner lemon, which I'm not as big of a fan of, but I do kind of like this. It's just a really nice, fresh, clean scent to have going. It makes me want to clean. Like this puts me in a very clean mood, but I like it. This is really nice. It always performs great. It's a very strong scent, has a good lasting power. So enjoyed this one, was using it up this week and I currently have it going in my warmers. Um, and then I do have a couple of Scentsy ones, Sun Kiss Citrus. This was really good. I really like this one a lot. Um, I kind of wanted to wait until summer to warm this one, but I was like, why not? Um, I really like this. It's a really nice citrusy scent with a very nice vanilla note in there. It's a very creamy vanilla, but it's really good. I like this one a lot. I would definitely repurchase this for the summer. It also has just like a slight sunscreeny vibe to it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree. The Sun Kiss Citrus has just like a slight sunscreen vibe but i really enjoyed this one and then lastly um a classic blue grotto you guys know i love blue grotto this is a dupe again for capri blue volcano like i said so many companies do this uh fragrance as a dupe and this is just another format it's really good though it's a very fresh citrusy um lemon grapefruit type scent but 
I really like this one. It always performs well for me too. Good strength and throw, good longevity, and I always enjoy this scent. My family also loves this one. I feel like we kind of, it can be hard for everybody to agree on a scent that we like, but this one seems to be a big fan favorite in my family, so I'll always have that one in my collection for that reason. And yeah, guys, that is it for the week. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what have you guys been using this week in home fragrance? What have you finished? What have you been burning? I would love to hear it. Also, let me know what wax melts you've had going. Definitely let me know all of that down below in the comments. Um, once again, check out the description box. I'll put a lot of good stuff down there for you guys to find. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. See you then. Bye.